We're going to get going to get a little sort of a session going here. A bit of a session, a session that will feature the rhythm section. one hit me I got into drums probably through like Metallica and Slayer. And then I finally got my first kit, maybe, I don't know, fifth grade. And then that was it. I started taking lessons from different people. I also, I played saxophone actually in middle school, but then in high school I switched to drums. To backtrack a little more, so I started playing in, in high school and then I started playing in bands probably freshman year I met a kid. And then I just did like different punk hardcore bands around where I'm from, Menominee Falls in Milwaukee, until I met Pete when I was maybe 15 or 16. Uh, he had come up, he'd always come up to Milwaukee for hardcore shows. After high school, I went to college for history and anthropology. And meanwhile, was just doing three, four bands at a time and, you know, recording whenever we could, you know, saving up money. Uh, touring whenever we could. I think there was a point where we made a demo and we were just like, this, this is pretty good. We should like try to do something with this and tour for real. And we all dropped out of college and took the gamble. I had been in a band with Pete, I had been in a band with Joe, uh, so Patrick was kind of the newer guy to the whole scene. But we already knew each other, so there's kind of no thought. It was just like, a, you know, let's take the gamble and see what happens with it. And when it did finally hit, it kind of happened so fast. I mean, it happened, it took so long for us, but when it hit, then everything kind of just was like bigger and bigger and you don't really have a chance to really think about how to deal with it or what it, how it will affect us as friends or whatever which is why eventually you know we took a two three year hiatus to kind of get our bearings and process all of it
we decided to come back. I mean, we never broke up. We we always kind of had it in the back of our heads that we'd eventually come back. Um, although, you know, the break kind of was this necessary thing where who knows if we'll come back. Like, that's the plan, but as you kind of go on the break, you start to be like, well, that was pretty rough, you know? Like, there's a lot of stuff we got to work through before we can get back together. But, I don't know, we're just, we're best friends. It's like a band of brothers, and at some point we all kind of missed it, and uh, Patrick and Pete started writing stuff, and, you know, I was doing a band with Joe, uh, The Damn Things, and, you know, I know he had a lot of ideas that maybe didn't fit that, um, so Patrick reached out to him, and they started writing together, and we, we approached it totally different. We, the, the biggest thing is that we had a meeting with our manager, our managers in New York, and, and we kind of just discussed, like, if we're going to do this, why are we going to do this? Like, how are we going to do this? We have to do it different. We have to do it better. And we can't come back and be the same band that we were. We can't write the same record. We have to, like, still be new and still be exciting for ourselves, let alone for everyone else. Because, I mean, I'm sure there's a core base of fans who would love to have the same exact record, but ultimately it had been three years. That's not really exciting for us. So, like, we had to have something that was worth it. And, and we all decided if it, you know, we'll record a few songs and see how they turn out. If they don't, we won't do it. If, if they turn out well, like, let's see what happens. Vic Firth is, you know, the first sticks I really ever wanted to play. Um, so I played them early on, just five Bs. And then when the band started and, you know, you're looking for endorsements or whatever, I, you know, went to Vic Firth right away and there was no question. It, it wasn't, it, we weren't very big and like I had been turned down by like, you know, some other stuff, but for sticks, it was instant, which is great, you know, to be embraced right away when we didn't have a lot to show uh, for it, and maybe not a lot of success at the time, a little, but you know, so that was really awesome, and just the support I've gotten. Eventually, I got to design my own custom stick, and which is kind of the pinnacle of it's like having your own shoe as an athlete or something, and that was. You know, one of the coolest moments. That was like a made it moment. I think there's a lot of things that happen, you know, that were like, oh, this is it, we did it. But I feel like that's probably one of the biggest for me, just as a drummer, to be able to design your own custom stick. And yeah, that was it. That was awesome. So I don't know.